Hi, I'm Jonathan Wolf, Managing Director of the American Film Market, and we're watching Actors Reporter with Kirk Kelly. Kirk Kelly with Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. with Jonathan Wolf, who runs this extravagant event that's been going on. You've been doing this as your 15th show? 15th show, right. And you've done 33 shows since the inception of AFL. I haven't done, but the show's been going on for 33 years, yes. Correct, yes. Now, last year you had projected there would probably be about a billion dollars worth of business. That Between 800 million and a billion. We see about the same this year as well. Okay. The market is, is consistent in that way. It's not going to grow dramatically because there isn't a huge growth in the number of films that are made every year. However, now there seems to be more distribution channels with internet and video on demand. Is that impacting the industry in your Well, the internet's regard? having a huge impact on the industry. Um, uh, as Blu-ray and DVD slowly subside as an inefficient way in some ways to deliver film to the home, and various ways of delivering uh, video on demand, SVOD, into the home increase. So one is slowly supplanting the other. The business models for each are very different, and the companies here are adjusting to those new business models. What I find fascinating is every year I come here, you see the, the mainstays, the Lion Gates, or some of the other bigger companies, but there's always new companies that you seem to draw in. I've talked to new companies from Italy this year. You have people from Panama Film Commission. You always bring in new players every year. How do you work that magic? Well, it's not so much us bringing them in, but this is really um, art at the yes. end of the day. And artists are born every day. They move into the industry. You know, artists are always looking for money. Um, they have to come to markets like this to help find it. There's no greater passion for money other than maybe saving the life of a loved one than there is with the artists that can't afford their canvas. Right. So as soon as they matriculate into long form, you know, here they are. Whether it's film commissions building industries within their own country, or it's the producer that is ready to make their first film, they find their way to the American film market. How many countries are represented in this year's 2012? Somewhere film? between 70 and 75. We haven't done the exact count. Right. And I, I've noticed there's even new companies with new, uh, new countries with new incentives. 20 years ago, um, production incentives um, were few and far between. Very much so. And as, as film industries continue to expand around the world, those artists who couldn't afford their canvas went to governments, went to municipalities, went to states, and looked for incentives to help support the art, to support the culture. And this has evolved throughout the world to see production incentives as a way of, of creating jobs and economic development. And now, where we didn't, we had very few in this country 20 years ago, now we have states competing against each other. Literally. New York against North Carolina, against California, against Mexico. And Louisiana. so everybody's vying for the business uh, of the film industry. And so from the standpoint of the producer, that's terrific. It's great to be wanted, it's great to be needed, and it's great when people are offering you dough at the same time. You also have amazing guests every year. You, you get some of the top industry leaders who come and speak on your panels and at your convention. Right, well, we're all about the business of film. If we brought a lot of A actors to speak, we'd have a modest audience for them. If we bring top CEOs and senior executives who are those bringing forward film and facilitating production, then we get standing room only. This is an event really about the business of film and those who are here from all over the world. For example, we had a panel yesterday on marketing and one of the panelists was from Hong Kong, Michael Werner from Fortissimo Films. Right. One was from London. Um, um, Sorry, I'll think of her name That's in a minute. Right. Apologize. Then we had Charlotte Mickey uh, from Toronto. Sorry, from London was Alison Thompson right. from Focus Features. And so we're able to bring together the global players who happen to be in Hollywood for a week uh, to really talk about what they're doing and help inform our audience. How many people actually show up at this event on average every year? Eight, ten thousand? No, between seven and ten thousand. Excuse me, between seven and eight thousand. This year, about seventy-seven hundred. Okay. Last year, about seventy-nine hundred. It's about that range. Okay, so it's maintained despite the economy. Oh yeah, this has been a fairly stable show because. Despite the economy, there's still the same number of artists who want to continue to make film, and they find a way to see it, and the consumer is still watching film, whatever screen size that might be. Now, something I picked up from all the people we've interviewed so far at this convention is that stuff that historically from the United States may not have done as well in other markets like romantic comedies are starting to break out in foreign markets. Do you think this is a trend of the future? I haven't 
noticed that. So you've okay. been you had the leisure of yes. walking around and talking talking to people. For me, it's more like being the captain of the cruise ship. Right. I really am only checking with people and shaking their hand on the way out the door at right. the end of the cruise to see how their trip was. I haven't had a chance yet to get around and really see from the, the film companies what's working and what isn't. What sticks out in your mind that's different and really great for people to know about from this year's show? The weather. Absolutely. Here amazing. we are at the beach. It's the middle of November. We're hearing about crises all around the country and we're eating outside in 80 degree weather at the beach with short sleeves. Absolutely, and today even 90 degrees. Yes. I wish you continued Hugh's success. Thank you very Jonathan. much, it's great Thank to talk you. to you. I'm Kurt Kelly for Actors Reporting on Live Video Inc. We'll be back with more from AFM 2012, the 33rd AFM in just a few moments.